As I mentioned in the previous exercise, instead of scaling up the title block reference as you did, you can leave the title block at full size, but scale down the design elements. Now as an optional aid to assist in this reverse layout, you can display a full sized paper sheet in a sheet model and then reference the elements into that paper display. Now note that I said optional, the paper display is not necessarily required for this type of setup. To see how this works, I'm going to open a new sheet model in the row design. Do that right now. You need to start the models dialog box. We need a new model. I'm going to call it TB full size. I'm leaving the annotation scale at one to one since we have no text at this point. The next important thing is the display sheet boundary option. I'm going to turn this on. This is going to determine the size of the paper sheet which will display in the view. Size, I'm using NCD. If you're working in metric, use the ISO A1 size. Do that at D. Now just note the origin X and Y values here. This is where the bottom left corner of this paper sheet will be located. Everything's ready, I'll say okay. And immediately we see the paper sheet displayed in the screen. And it looks like a piece of paper with a shadow effect. I'm going to zoom outwards a little bit. Now keep in mind that this is a full sized sheet of paper. So its dimensions are 22 inches by 34 inches, or in metric, 594 by 481 millimeters. The next thing is to attach the title block drawing at a one to one scale. So we're going to do that. So I will dismiss the models box, open the references box, and we'll attach. I want to attach the T block. I'll leave the logical name off for the moment. The model is default since that's the only model in this file. Master reference from previous settings is 1 to 192. That's from the previous exercise. I need to change this to 1. So we have a master scale of 1 to 1. The detail scale remains at 1 16th equals 1 foot, again because that was the last thing we did. And we'll say OK. The T block design is now attached, but of course I can't see it because it's elsewhere in the design. So I'll zoom out. There it is. Let's move it. And snap to the top right corner of the paper sheet. And you'll note that the title block fits the paper sheet perfectly, as it should do, since both are sized exactly the same. So this is a one to one, full sized title block in place in this paper sheet image. Next thing to do is insert the road layout drawing. And let's do that right now. So we'll attach road. And we need the road layout model. We don't have any save views for this design file. Now scale again, we have to think about that. This time, rather than bring the elements in at one to one, we must bring them in in relation to the plotting scale that we intend to use, which is, in this case, 1 16th of an inch equals one foot, or one to 200 in metric. That's our printing scale. The scale factor then is one to 192, there being 192 sixteenths of an inch in a foot. Again, one to 200 in metric. Let's change that. So this stays at one, this changes to 192. We'll hit enter. And the road design is now in place. And again, we have to find it. There it is. And let's move this. I can click and drag and move it. And there it is. So the road design is now scaled down to a ratio of 1 to 192, whereas the title block is full size. You can now, of course, add the houses and the trees following the same procedure. What's so significant about this? Well, since the sheet model is at one to one scale, you can add text and dimensions to the road design using a 1 8 inch or 3 millimeter text height, which is the required printed text height. And plotting will be at a one to one scale, which does make life an awful lot easier. Now as to which method should you use, this method or the previous version where we scaled up the title block, it's really a personal or a company policy choice. 
Either method works well and essentially ends in the same printed result. It's perhaps a little more intuitive to scale down the design elements to fit the drawing sheet, as we've just done. And editing the elements is not a problem since they remain at full size in their respective models. Now, all this again, of course, is the power of the referencing system. So, as always, please experiment, add the houses and the tree symbols following the same method.